champions this is Steve Quillian and we are here on a Saturday morning me and Mark Gibner and uh, we're gonna prime and glaze about 60 windows today and but first we have to prime them and then we'll have to glaze them but before we can prime them we have uh, about 30 bottom sashes that we have to cut the angle down on well, and what I mean by that is after you assemble a sash, it comes off square. You see what I'm saying? But um, if you have any experience in the window restoration trade, you know that the uh, bottom sash is at an angle. And so this is a technique that we use when it's not practical to run on a table saw. And this is a typical situation where it's not practical to run it on a table saw. I've got a saw guide that I've been using, or I've used various uh, various saw guides since you know I'm in, I started off as a carpenter helper many, many, many years ago, and I make my own, and I'm going to use that um, as a uh, kind of like you know Festool's got this fancy dancy saw guide track saw kind of thing. This is like the predecessor to. Uh, Festool track saw and the uh, the beauty to this is This doesn't cost you anything and if you've already got a circular saw you can get the exact same results just as fast and um, And they're not very valuable at the pawn shop if you know what I mean, so I'm gonna uh, show you that right real quick. This is my saw guide um, Let's see if I get a good shot of that. I got these clamps that go with it on both sides and the uh, the idea is that you know you take a a piece of plywood I will go ahead and rip off this section here off of a off of a uh, piece of plywood and I'll, I'll this would be a factory edge here so the factory edge is what's straight and then I'll use a straight edge and I'll glue and I'll nail it onto the, the plywood itself, leaving enough so that when I, I can run my saw down it, that it'll cut off the excess. And what that leaves me, where it cuts this edge off, is a, an exact gauge of um, where my saw will cut. And it uh, works just like that Festool track saw thing, I think, you know. My friend Ryan let me use one one time and I was, I was pretty impressed, but you know, for the money, I'm just not real impressed, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, anyway, so like, I've got this, uh, this sash here, let see if I can put it on the table. See, I've got just right here on the edge, okay, I'm clamping that right there. That saw's gonna cut them off right there. Yeah, all right. Isn't that nice? Nice angle. Now let's cut a few real fast, huh?
point is you don't need a lot of big fancy tools to do a good job. What you do need is the practice and the skill. So go out there and start making some cash with Windows Sash. Do it for the Artisan Army. We need you. Steve Quillian over and out. You know, the whole idea of freely sharing, you know, what we know, I think, I think it's, it's so important to, you know, growing this industry because uh, I, I knew a long time ago that there was way more than I could ever do. It just there just is you know and uh, the uh, so you know I set out to start empowering people to teach people because look if me as a preservationist I want to put my money where my mouth is the uh, I mean I'm gonna save one window two windows I mean I might save a hundred windows a year I mean how many am I gonna save a year you know what I'm saying I mean, this is America I mean how many houses are there a year I mean how many old houses? I mean this, I mean, this it's, it's astronomical, you know, to try to figure out I mean, how much there is to do, you know. So I start passing it along, you know, and then later on I start to realize that I have to pass it on, you know. It's my mission because, man, there's just nobody doing it. There's nobody with skill anymore, you know. So you have to pass on the skills.